before we start looking at these mechanisms called straight line mechanisms we should understand the historical need that motivated their design james watt had invented his steam engine and he needed to guide his piston along a straight path but at that time there was no technology which could create a long truly straight guide to guide his pistons so in short there were uh, no prismatic pairs so all they had were pin joints eh, or revolute pairs and using only those they had to create a mechanism which would guide a point along a straight line so there were two solutions or two classes of solutions one was approximate and one was exact we are going to start with the approximate straight line mechanisms here is one over here and most of these are going to be four bars with some special proportions so we have one two three and four hinges or revolute pairs connecting these links and the coupler here has an extension on which our tracing point is situated this mechanism had has some special proportions of course that these 1 2 3 4 lengths are equal while these two lengths are in this proportion 1 is to half let us see how it moves and creates the straight line so we can drag on this pencil point or this tracing point and this is the straight line segment we are getting although it might appear to be exactly straight it is really not it is only approximate and then of course it deviates from the path and creates a path like that and again it comes back to the approximate straight line the next one was created by chebyshev here are its proportions so we have again a four bar 1 2 3 and the fixed link 4 with the proportions 2l 5l 4l and 5l again and at the midpoint of the coupler we have the tracer so we are going to drag on this and the pencil point over there okay, let's zoom in is tracing a straight line of course after this it starts deviating like that and again it can be brought back for the remaining straight line over here the next one was invented by watt himself and these are the proportions again a 4 bar 1 2 3 and the fixed link 4 l l at the midpoint of which there is a tracer l and then these two lengths let's move it and see the straight line being traced so this is a straight segment but there is one more in its path and that is over here straight segment here are a couple of more straight line mechanisms approximate straight line mechanisms this one is called scott russell now it might look a little ridiculous because to get this mechanism we already have a prismatic pair so if we can make a straight line guide why do we need this but anyway this is of academic interest so this is the way it creates a straight line by the way this is a exact straight line mechanism and lastly we have something that is actually a modification of this so instead of this straight line guide we can use a long link which will give us an arc which is almost flat so that gives us a little bit of straight line portion over here something like this